After exploring some of the must-see places of the southeastern portion of Vietnam, we are packing our bags to see yet another exciting part, which is the heart and soul of Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh City. Did you know guys that Vietnam used to have two capitals? Short story. During the Vietnam War, the nation was divided into the Communist North and the Anti-Communist South. Hanoi then was the capital of the North and Saigon was the capital of the South. Upon victory of the North, Vietnam reunified under a Communist Party and Hanoi became its capital city. Today, Ho Chi Minh City, which is formerly called Saigon, is now the largest city in Vietnam. However, there is a technical difference between the two terms Saigon and Ho Chi Minh. Saigon is commonly used to refer to the city center in District 1 and the adjacent areas, while Ho Chi Minh City refers to all its other urban and rural districts. So all in all, there are 16 urban districts, 5 rural districts, and 1 sub-city in Ho Chi Minh. Ho Chi Minh City attracts millions of domestic and foreign tourists. The city is a leading center of culture, business, and finance in Vietnam, along with the historical and the modern constructions that have become the symbol of Ho Chi Minh City. Hello once again mga katimates. We are here in Ho Chi Minh City right now and we arrived here early morning from Nha Trang. And let's begin with breakfast here at McDonald's. We realized that this city is action-packed with so many things to do and so many things to see. So we will be exploring this fantastic place which is also as eager as we are to be explored. So don't go away just yet because we will continue to explore this wonderful city together and maybe you can get some ideas on what to do and what to see when it's time for you to visit. After breakfast, the first visit is to the War Remnants Museum. The museum's main objective is to educate the public, especially the younger generations, the grim reminder of Vietnamese people in their struggle against the invading forces and highlight the devastating consequences of the war of aggression. The museum stores more than 20,000 documents and exhibits and films and has already welcomed over 15 million visitors. After visiting the War Remnants Museum, we went straight to one of the biggest shopping centers here in Ho Chi Minh City. The next is Bentan Market. Markets in Ho Chi Minh City are highly recommended as they still play a central role in the daily lives of local visitors. Bentan Market has four main gates and the main entrance is famous for the big clock tower, the iconic symbol of Bentan Market. Entering this entrance, you can find rows of colorful textiles and clothing. On the east side of the market, you can buy many Vietnamese packaged food and specialties. 
On the north side, sells fresh food with a variety of meat and fruits. And the west side gate is a paradise for souvenirs. After roaming the area, we also tried the food this place has to offer. Hot pot for dinner and street foods on the sides. And on our way to the hotel for a night rest, we took a short walk at the Union Square. And finally, said goodbye to the night. The next morning, we took the most exciting thing tourists do when visiting Ho Chi Minh City. What else but to ride a boat on the Saigon River? The river encloses the city softly from the suburb to the urban. The scenery on boat banks changes from large fields to tiny old houses in fishing villages to floating markets on the river and the city center with skyscrapers, parks, restaurants, and entertainment centers. There are many tours of the Saigon River at different times of the day. The most popular tour is the Sunset Cruise which is well liked by many visitors. Just a walking distance from the promenade of the Saigon River is the Ho Chi Minh Square. Vietnam is a beautiful country. It is even better than some other Asian countries. Number one, people are very friendly. Uh, the cost of living is cheap. We have a lot of food, good food, good people. What I can say is you should visit some areas which are not frequently visited like Natran or um, the countryside and uh, you will find the real beauty of Vietnam. The only downside here is the hardest part of staying here in Vietnam is on how you cross the street. They don't have any regards to pedestrians so that it will cost you a life just to go to the other side of the road. So that's the only thing I can say in Vietnam. But overall, it is one of the best Asian countries I have been to so far. Early in the afternoon, we decided to go up high to see the whole of the Ho Chi Minh on a higher ground. The best place to be would be the Saigon Sky Deck, which is located in the Bintex Tower here in Ho Chi Minh. The Saigon Sky Deck is located high atop the 49th floor of the Bitexco Financial Tower. At the Saigon Sky Deck, you can take in the 360-degree views of Ho Chi Minh City and the Saigon River 
from 178 meters above the ground. So we are now here in the Deep Tech Tower. As in any other places that we go, we always find a way to make a finale of going up so that we can see the overall of the area or the city. One tip on the best time to come is near sunset. That is between 1700 hours to 1800 hours where you can watch the beautiful sunset and enjoy the nighttime views after the sun sets. That's all for now mga ka teammates and tomorrow we will now be leaving Vietnam for the Philippines. So between now and then, see you again on our next adventure.